right now we're in the costume room with Ashley Burns. Thank you for letting us come out here today. Sure, thanks for coming. The costume room is a very extravagant room right now. Can you tell me what's housed in here? Oh gosh, <laughs> 30 years worth of uh, costumes and life in the PPP. Donations, hours and hours of uh, labor, um, everything. Gosh, memories, that's what's in here. You mentioned putting in multiple hours on a show. How many hours do you think that you put in on curtains and other musicals? Uh, plays are different than musicals, but I'd say uh, we'd easily spend hundreds of hours in here for every musical. Wow. Um, what's your, your title? What do you do um, as co you're working on costumes? Well, I'm the lead costume designer along with Miss Sherry. Um, we research the plays, we read them, uh, figure out what's best for um, the vision of the play. We work closely with Mr. Bluestein to try and make his um, sort of vision come to fruition and uh, then we go out and buy tons and tons and tons of fabric. We line up seamstresses and start sewing. You said that plays are different than musicals. For curtains, um, how many costumes do you think you guys will be making? Well, there's about 41 actors in this show. We, have, we are closing in on almost 250 costumes so far. Wow, I, I know that the, the Pablo Pike Playhouse rents out these costumes. Can you tell me about that? Sure, you can go to ppp.org and uh, you, there's lots of different musicals and uh, shows that you can rent. You can rent them as individual items or as uh, the entire show. So you can, for instance, last year we did Beauty and the Beast. You can rent some musical, um, I mean some enchanted objects or all the enchanted objects, or you can rent the whole show. Maybe you only want to rent Belle and Beast. So you can sort of break it down, I guess, into uh, what's best for you and your needs. And then UPS can ship it or you can come pick it up. Uh, you worked on Beauty and the Beast last year. How has Beauty and the Beast been different than Curtains this year? Well, Beauty and the Beast was mostly sculptural objects, so the art teachers had to make a lot of those costumes, whereas in this show, uh, none of the costumes are sculptural. Uh, so we've been able to line up a lot of seamstresses where, so that the art teachers can be in here helping to make more of the larger decisions and be, I guess it's just a little bit different role for us on this one. Um, behind us, there's a few students working on costumes. Mm -hmm. What are they working on right now? Uh, well, Monica right now is working on a dress for Wide Open Spaces. It's actually her dress. Uh, she's, uh, both of these girls are actually the costume chair co-chairs, and Monica's actually in the show, and she sews all of her own costumes. So in her free time, she actually doesn't have any. So <laughs> free is um, a pretend word for her in this show. So every time that she has a break or in between, um, scenes she tries to get up here to see if there's anything else she can do. Uh, Emily is uh, working on petticoats for all of the girls in wide open spaces, one of the numbers for curtains and for Kansas land. So uh, she's made I think 22 different petticoats and has sort of led a team of six student seamstresses to make those petticoats and is now heading them up and uh, putting the ruffles on those. Um, they are both high school students. How many students work on this and how many adults? Well, we have the two chair people and Emily is able to be up here just a little bit more than Monica since Monica's practices. Right. And uh, so, she, so she we have um, approximately six or seven students that are helping to sew odds and ends. And for the actual um, nights of the performances for the costume crew, we have 25 students that have volunteered to uh, work those nights and they're all art students and uh, so we're really excited about that but then there's the sort of endless supply of parents we couldn't do this without the parents and uh, the other volunteers Miss Chisholm and Miss Reidenhauer have been up here almost every single day uh, working to help fill in the gaps of what um, <laughs> needs to happen like buying finding the best slippers different things like that so they've been just amazing and right up there working as much as Miss um, Sherry and I. And then um, we have Miss McElroy, one, uh, Cooper McElroy's mom is actually working on all the shoes for the show. So then we have a lot of other parent volunteers that are up here as well. So there's just many, too many to count.
Um, you are also in charge of putting out the billboard that's in front of Germantown High School. Can you tell me about that project? Actually, I did that last year. Miss Sherry is in charge of the billboard and the uh, graphic design for the show. Um, but this is the most complex design that we've ever had come out of the PPP as far as I know because uh, we, uh, she set up a photo shoot where it's actual students that are going to be on the billboard that are in the show. So this isn't just a graphic design. Um, sort of uh, broken down into maybe five or six simple flat layers. There are actual, it's an actual photograph that's been filtered and it's in the process of being painted now. So it's the most complex design we've ever had, so it's sort of the, the most artistically rendered uh, billboard. It's uh, about 80% complete right now, so um, I know she's really excited about that and the students that are working on that are really proud of themselves too and should be. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, what's your favorite part about working on curtains or any musical? I guess seeing the costumes come to life on stage. Uh, everything looks different in your head and you really hope that once it gets on stage everything comes to life and it really works out the way that you hope. So that's my favorite part when it actually all comes together. Uh, what's your favorite Poplar Pike Playhouse uh, musical? Definitely Into the Woods. That is awesome. Well, thank you for letting us come out here today and seeing the costume room. Sure, thank you so much for taking the time. Right now, we're going to watch a clip of Mrs. Burns' favorite musical, Into the Woods. To be happy and forever, you must see your wish come true. Don't be careful, don't be clever, when you see your wish pursue. It's a dangerous endeavor. Continued. And how <laughs> <laughs> 